Hello everyone, welcome back. Now that we have installed Write Editor, let's try to open the Write Editor and understand the components inside the Write Editor. Now, to open Write Editor, we will go to the command prompt and type write.py. So now you can see on the screen, this is the Write Editor. So if we look at the screen, the left side of the screen where it's written test suites, where we, uh, we will have a list of test cases and test suites. We will also have our resources files, user defined keywords. And on the right side of the screen, we have the edit option, text edit option and the run option. This is the place where we will actually write the test cases and run them. So if we actually click on one of these options, let's say we click on text edit. Right now it's empty because we haven't created any test case. If we click on run, this does show nothing because we haven't created any test case. But we have a few options available over here. We have an option for starting the test case. We can also debug the test case while running it. We will have a function of auto save, pause on failure. And we also have a function which is checked by default that we have to show a message log when a test case runs. To understand better, let's actually create one test case. So to create a new test case, we will click on file and we will click on new project. Now on this screen, it says what, what directory you want to create the project on. So we will click on browse. So in my system, I'm just creating a project under C drive. I will make a new folder here. I will make a folder robot projects. I will select this folder. Now you see over here we have two options. One it says what kind of projects you want to create. Do you want to create a file or do you want to create a directory? In this case we will create a directory. The reason behind this is because we are actually creating a new project in, instead of a new test case or a test suite. If you wanted to create a test suite, you could have chosen the option of file and then created a list of test cases under that ten, uh, test suite. But in this case, since we want to create a new project, we will choose directory. Inside the directory, we can have different test suites. Also, we can have resources files, user defined keywords. So directly is a uh, directory is a combination of all the test suites, resources, keywords. Now, if you see over here, we have four formats to create the robot project. It says there's a robot format, there's a text format, there's a TSV and an HTML. For now, we will select robot format and I will explain you later what are these different formats. So let's give a name to our project. Let's give a name demo. And now we see there is a path created under robot projects by the name demo. So we click OK. So now we have successfully created a new project by the name demo. So if we we'll right click on this project, we have different options. We have new test suite, new directory, which will be like a sub directory inside this project. We have a new resource. We have new user keywords and we have different types of variables which we can define. For now, to create a test case, first we will click on new test suite because a test suite is a combination of test cases. So I click over here. It says, what is the name of this suite you want to give? So I will give demo one. So I click OK here. But here, if you see that we will choose the type file over here because now we want to create a file which will hold the list of test cases. So I click OK over here. And now you see we have a test suite created, but still we haven't created a test case yet. So now to create a new test case, we will click right on our test suite and click on an option new test case. Let's give a name to our test case. Let's give a name TC uh, underscore zero one. You can give any name what you want. So I'll click OK after that. So here we have created our first test case. Right now it's an empty test case. Now this empty test case have different sections. One of the sections is a setting section which defines the metadata for the test cases. I'm going to explain in the upcoming videos what exactly metadata are we talking about. We have different types of metadata like documentation, setup, teardown, tags, timeout, template. 
all of these data, metadata I'm going to explain in the upcoming videos. But for now, let's see where actually we write the keywords for our test case. So if you see just below the settings option, we have a grid. This is the place where we write the keywords in order to execute the test case. This is one of the place where we can write the test case. The other place is that if we click on text edit, we can also write the test cases over here. And as I've already told you in the run option, when we are finished writing the keywords for our test case, we can click on start and run. Another thing to notice over here is when we click on the test suite, we have different options to import if you see the right side over here. So the first option is library. As I've already told you, Robot Framework is a collection of libraries. It can be internal libraries, it can be external libraries. If we would like to import our external libraries such as Selenium library, Excel library or database library, we will click on library and import the library. The second option to import over here is resource. Now what do we mean by resource? Resource is a text file which contains mostly commonly used keywords. So in the future videos, I'm going to explain you how to create a resource and how to create use uh, most commonly defined keywords inside a re resource and we can just directly import the resource and then use those keywords in our test cases. The next thing to no notice over here is we have variables. Now you, these are the user defined variables. We have different kind of variables in robot framework. I have a complete separate video on different kind of robot framework variables. This is all for this video and I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you.